at Libra. This is going to be from December the 15th to the 1st of January. Hope y'all are doing well. I've been very busy, very exhausted. I still got a lot to do. I'm really had to push myself today to do these readings. I'm only going to get a couple out. I didn't sleep well last night. My kid didn't sleep well. She got her anticipation of Christmas presents that are already under the tree. She's like, oh, I know what's in that one. Oh, God, what is it? Could it be a Barbie dream home? I'm like, no, that's not a Barbie dream home. I said, you know, it could be something really small in a gigantic box. You're thinking about something. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about change. It's time for change. You want to change. What do you have for Libra? Time for a change. Something's got to give. Unexpected income. Pathway. Occupation. Family room. And I pulled that from there because they told me to. So, if you get to asking why... It's because they told me to. And poverty's on the bottom. So just do what they tell me to. Don't do anything for a particular reason. Just what they tell me. Alright, clarify the unexpected income. You made a choice. You made a very big choice. Queen of Cups in reverse. And one more on unexpected income. <sighs> Are you dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo? Libra? This king of coins, what is their intentions towards Libra? Three of swords and page of cups. I feel like they're offering you falseness. Whatever they're offering you is false. Pathway. Learn how the pathway for Libra. What is that saying? It's not all roses and something another. In fact, I'm smelling a stench. That's what I hear you saying. Just turn the next one over too. So, Nine of Cups in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse. Family arguments, family fights, you're not dealing with it. You don't want to deal with it. As a matter of fact, you're tired of putting up the defense from it. You're moving on from it. Occupation. Clarify the occupation. If you're married, it could be a divorce coming up. And they're trying, yeah, that's what I get. They're trying to get you to take what they offer you, not what you want. Or not what the courts would want. Seven of Swords, moving on. Wheel of Fortune. You know what's up. You ain't putting up with that. You got a family to raise. Family, family room. Virgo, Emperor, which could be a daddy figure, which could be King of Stabs, or could be a devil. Libra. So, 
Now, if you're a cross watcher, and you got something, or these people involved in your life are looking at a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and a Virgo over here. Okay. Why do I? I see four boys. Four boys is what I see. I don't know why. Four boys. Maybe it's three boys and a man acting like a boy. The magician. The judge can't believe this. He's like, oh my God. You seriously think that this is all this woman needs to have? And she's raising all these kids? One more in adjudication, please. One more in adjudication. Thank you. King of Swords. You're coming out the victor. This person has kept you in poverty and poverty and poverty and poverty and poverty. I feel like they just kept you barefoot and pregnant. You, you were with this person a very long time. You have a bunch of a bunch of kids together. And they just kind of kept you barefoot and pregnant and in the kitchen. And underneath their thumb. And no, nah, honey, we ain't got enough money for that. You better make it stretch for the week. And, then the, and the whole time they got a little pondering cycle of money in the bank account. Where they could at least afford you a uh, uh, pair of shoes. But I, I feel, I truly see... You wearing the same shoes for like forever. Forever. These things have holes in the sides of them and everything. You literally made yourself last just to hold this family together. And all I see is a man that wanted to control a woman. And he did it by constantly keeping her pregnant and in the kitchen. While well, he went out and did what he wanted to, gave you the bare minimum to survive with, to survive the kids with. Oh, poverty, please. Clarify the poverty. How's that going to turn out? For Libra. This is very depressing. They have literally kept you down forever, Libra. Nine points. You're rising above it. You're putting an end to his ass. <clears throat> and you may have these kids to raise, but you're getting child support. You're getting everything you need plus some. And it looks like you're going to be able to go out. Give me, give me two more. Just give me two more cards. Two more cards. I'm going to say it looks like you're going to be able to go out and get a very, very good job. To bring everything up. Thank you. Eight of Staffs and Nine of Swords. Yeah. You're going to move forward and not without a few scratches. You're willing to take that blow, though. You're willing to go out there and put in the applications and say, yes, um,. I need a job I've never worked before or I haven't worked in many years and I just, you know, I have a family, uh, our kids to support. I'm a single parent. I've got multiple babysitters lined up in case anything happens. People to pick my kids up from school so I don't have to leave work. I need this job. And I'm seeing you get this job. Matter of fact, I'm seeing you get two jobs. Two jobs.
two jobs and what is that? A small amount of income from somewhere. What are you doing? Uber or no, you're not doing Uber. You're doing grocery shopping for people. That's what I see. That is your spare third job where you go out and you get people's groceries for them and you take them too. And that only that brings you in a couple bucks. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. But it helps. And you're making ends meet. You're going to do this. You're going to push forward through this. Let's see if there's anything else in here. This judge knows this man kept you barefoot and pregnant and held down into poverty. He knows. I see you. I don't know why I see this, but I see you working at like Lowe's and the Waffle House. Whatever that means. You also have a child going off to college. You're very worried for them and you don't know how it's going to turn out. Either this just happened or it's going to happen this coming year. But I see, I see, it's going to happen this coming year because I see you saving money for it. And you're trying to teach this child how to save money. You're steadily right there in their ear. Okay, you don't need that. It's not mandatory that you have that. Don't get that. Save your money. You're like a little angel on their shoulder. You know some of them places they have they are on television it shows the little angel on one shoulder and a little devil on the other shoulder to whispering in the person's ear. I'm seeing that you're like a little angel on your child's shoulder, your teenage child that's going off to college to okay. And they they seem to be working or something and you're like, Okay, you need to save this money because you're going to need this money here. You don't need that. You don't need to buy that. There it is not a necessity. You're doing a very good job. It's turning out very well. Very well. Okay. If I could just get mine to learn that, but she's only five, so I got a little time, right? <laughs> a little bit of time. All right, blessings to you. If you'd like a personal reading, everything is in my about. I only have a phone, and I have a, like a little tablet, but it, I, I don't know. I can't seem to get the information to put it at the bottom of every video. So I don't, I don't know, you know, so, so you copy and paste and you go all the way down rather than sit there and type and all this, that, and the other. I, I don't, I'm not good at computers. I don't have a computer, so everything's in my about. If you'd like a personal reading, please give it me a like, a share, and a subscribe. I would so much appreciate it. God bless you and Merry Christmas.